This looks like a pretty easy and fun project to do. It's a glorified swamp cooler, but will be a little portable air conditioning unit using a heater core and a bilge pump. And what we're going to do, it's real simple, is just have real cold water in the bottom of the cooler, pump it with the bilge pump, run it through the heater core, and put some computer fans behind it and blow it out. So in making this, this was a replacement part for a Volkswagen somewhere in the mid-70s. This is a new part, but they're only about 20 bucks online. You can get them used for less. We've got a boat bilge pump. That was about $12. And some other stuff that was just kind of sitting around. I printed this up, 3D printed this. And that will sit underneath our grinding stone. And then the bilge pump will be bolted through there. And that'll hold the weight down in the bottom of the cooler. The pump will sit on there and we'll pump that out. I printed this up. This was drawn up in Tinkercad real fast, just like that part there. I'm printing the other one right now for the other side. And this is just a bracket so we can bolt this to the underside of the lid. And on the top is where the holes will be cut for each computer fan. There's the bilge pump on the old grinding stone. It's got some nice weight to it, so it'll stay put in there without drilling any extra holes. And for the mechanics of this, it's really simple. This is a heater core from a mid-70s Volkswagen. I bought this new online for about 20 bucks. The brackets were 3D printed to hold that off a little bit. And we've got some foam insulation around the heater core. A $12 bilge pump and just a few ice packs and some tap water for these first tests. There's the finished portable 12 volt AC unit. Really easy to do, fun little project. The cooler was bought new at Walmart, really inexpensive. These were 3D printed vent holes, although some more airflow through really makes a difference in dropping those temperatures down. Somewhere in the upper 50s, 59, 60, somewhere around there. And this is with only three freezer packs and just some regular tap water. Another modification will be to make some sort of bracket mount to hold that up a little bit higher. But all in all, easy project, fun to do. And nice cool airflow coming out. Thanks very much for taking a look.